Yesterday, Bill Gates said he doesn't think people like him are paying enough in taxes. I, I promise you, uh, Warren Buffett's doing fine, Bill Gates is doing fine, I'm doing fine. We, d yeah, they're definitely doing fine. The right wing billionaires were also the focus of the Keystone Pipeline proposal, a plan President Obama has yet to give a permit to. Congressman Henry Waxman, a top Democrat on the committee, called for a minority hearing on the pipeline requesting testimony from somebody from the Coke industry, one of their officials. It's important we hear from the Coke and other stakeholders. I think this pipeline is a bad idea. It ignores the concerns of the gentleman's time's expired. I would also tell the gentleman we, we will certainly accept the letter and we will follow the rules, but we are not going to be subpoenaing the Koch brothers and we're not asking the Koch brothers to appear because the brothers have nothing to do with this project. I'm joined by Robert Greenwald tonight, founder and president of Brave New Films. Robert, I think that was a very interesting exchange because that there are people on Capitol Hill who, for lack of a better term, are protecting the Koch brothers. What would be so bad about bringing them in for testimony to find out what their connection might be? What do you make of that exchange? Well, I think it was a very good exchange. What it doesn't say, and the video that we're going to release Monday will say, the chairman who was cutting off Waxman has gotten, I think it was twenty-five or $30,000 from the Koch brothers. So there's a very direct connection between the people they're funding and what the elected officials will do in pursuit of the Koch's economic self-interest. And as the president said, you know, they've made billions just in the last few years. You've got a film coming out about the Koch brothers' influence on American college and university campuses. Here's a clip. Their hope setting up a pattern where universities are expected to give up their values in exchange for money. Programs that they start tend to be one point of view only. They now have financial agreements with over 150 colleges and universities. They've spent tens of millions of dollars to get their point of view instilled in classrooms, amongst faculty members, and in students. Over time, hundreds of thousands of students are directly exposed to Koch brothers' ideology and political points of view. My response to that, Mr. Greenwald, is I can't believe it. I had no idea. What else can you tell us? Well, look, these, these guys are not stupid, and they are funding colleges. They fund, by the way, over 150 colleges around the country. And one thing I think we can do, Ed, is encourage all the viewers to call their college, find out, number one, are they getting Coke money? And number two, most importantly, are there strings attached? Because at Florida State University, at Utah, at Clemson, at other places where we've been able to uncover the paperwork, they have direct control over hiring professors, curriculum, papers that are written and presented. And if they don't like any of those, they're able to withdraw their money. So that at a time when colleges desperately need funds, they are holding this money up and forcing their ideology on them. Uh, and then, of course, they get people uh, who are so-called experts, in a sense, being bought off or written the kind of report that they want to support the projects that they want? Is that a bridge too far? No, not at all. It's exactly what they do, Ed. And it's on paper. I mean, we have the contracts. And it basically says the Koch Foundation, through their advisory committee, controls and decides which professors get hired, what they teach, and how they implement it. We had a screening in Florida uh, the other day with the wonderful students down there and Progress Florida and Florida Watch Action who were refusing to take this attack on academic freedom. And they're going at them very strongly and they're saying, no, we will not be yeah. bought off. We got to talk more about this next week, Mr. Greenwald. Fascinating work. You've done it again. BraveNewFilms.org. Great job. Thank you.